get into the news. Um, I don't know if you saw this, but uh, this morning, President Trump uh, retweeted three videos from a far-right British hate group called Britain First. Uh, the videos were meant to inflame anti-Muslim and anti-immigration sentiment. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Britain First is basically it's a racist gang that marches in the streets and wants Muslims out of the country. And I, I, for one, I'm just glad I now live in the United States, where, thankfully, nothing like that could ever happen. I mean... <laughs> am I right? Um... <laughs> Britain First was founded by a man named Jim Dowson, who got his uh, start in a town called Dundonald, which, frankly, is exactly what we all wish we could say right now. You're done, Donald. <laughs> Get out, go away. It's done, Donald. Um, <laughs> but, uh, it's... <laughs> You're done, we're done. It's done, Donald. This group's, this group's videos, here's the thing, uh, we started looking into this story today, and this group's videos are so offensive, right? And, th and this is true. This morning, when we tried to get onto their website, we couldn't, because CBS has a policy, like many big corporations do, of blocking offensive websites. So to review, that means that the President of the United States is allowed to retweet this stuff, but I could get fired for looking at it. It's, <laughs> it's insane. Just to show you how dangerous it is that Donald Trump would retweet these videos, this morning, Theresa May, the British Prime Minister, she said, quote, it is wrong for the president to have done this. And then Americans were like, yeah, you're gonna have to be way more specific. <laughs> He's done, like, 25 awful things this morning. Uh... <laughs> But this is outrageous. It's, it's an outrageous thing. And I, I, I implore the president to take these tweets down. I mean, if he wants to retweet terrible British videos, go to the Late Late Show YouTube page. We got tons. <laughs> we got so many terrible videos. I mean, there's too many. <laughs> uh, let's move on to some of the other horrible things the president's been doing. Uh, after Trump insulted them on Twitter, Democratic leaders Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi declined to attend a meeting with him, but that didn't stop Donald Trump from showing up and doing a cheap photo op with two empty chairs. Uh, this was him there. I mean, look at that. <laughs> right, let's get real. Let's get real for a, for a moment. Those are three empty chairs. <laughs> yes. Those are three empty chairs. Can we see that again? <laughs> look at that. I was looking at this photo, I was like, is this a photo of the president yesterday or every day at lunch in the third grade? <laughs> <laughs> Trump said he's used to sitting next to an empty seat. At home, he calls that date night with Melania. <laughs> uh, now, Trump invited Schumer and Pelosi to the meeting, tweeted insults at them, and then acted surprised when they didn't show up. And, like, of course they're not gonna show up. That's like inviting someone to your birthday party and then writing at the bottom of the invitation, P.S. I think you're a stupid <laughs> bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, uh, the Christmas season is upon us, which means this is the first year that Melania Trump gets to decorate the White House for the holidays. Not everyone's loving it. Uh, take a look at one of the hallways she decorated for Christmas. Look at that. No wonder Pelosi and Schumer didn't show up for that meeting. <laughs> Would you walk down that hallway? That hallway doesn't say Merry Christmas 2017 as much as it says Stranger Things season three. <laughs>